Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. This week I'm continuing in my acrylics or professional basics series and this week I'm going to be showing you a perfect and easy rebalance, also known as an infill or a backfill, including all my secrets and hints and tips. There's even a bit of sculpting in there too. Also, I have been nominated as the best beauty vlogger in the New Generation Beauty Awards and I'd be really grateful if you could give me a vote. Just head over to the link in the description, select best beauty vlogger and my name, Natasha Lee, fill in your name and your email address. It also states if you use your correct email address, you'll be entered into a prize draw where they'll select at random someone who can win a goodie bag of top makeup products worth £250. It's free to enter for me, so I'd be really grateful if you could do it. Thank you, everyone. Now on to the video. This was another highly requested video from you guys. Now, I know it's been a little while since we've done some nail art, so next week there will be an amazing nail art tutorial. But just to say, I've started here by applying some anti-back to the hands, and now I'm keying in the file. This is important because it's a brand new file, and if they're too sharp, then they can actually cut the skin. So by keying in those corners or the edges, it stops the risk of cutting the skin. I'm going to follow my usual filing pattern, and if you're not too sure what that is, then there's a link in the top right corner right now which will take you straight to my piling video. All we're doing first is removing that gel polish so we can see what we're doing and what's going on underneath. We need to find which nails, if any, have lifted. Now this is my sister-in-law again and because she went away on holiday it's actually been four weeks, yes four weeks since we applied this acrylic so we do have some significant growth and some significant lifting. This is also due in part to the fact that her natural nails are slightly damaged from the non-standard salon nails that we removed a few weeks ago. And I'm going to show you rebalance using both a hand file and an e-file in this video. So all I'm starting off doing with both the hand file and the e-file is removing the actual gel polish. We need to examine what's going on underneath and see where do we have lifting before we can actually properly start the rebalance. What I'm doing here lightly with my e-file is removing all of the gel polish off and I just reverse the direction there to go down the side of the nail and it's just so we can have a look. On my other hand where I'm using a hand file I'm just removing the last of that gel polish so I can have a good look and see what's going on underneath that nail. These are two nails that my sister-in-law had said had lifted the most. So once I cleansed off with alcohol I was able to see what was going on underneath. And if you're trying to problem shoot to your rebalances, it might help to take a black Sharpie marker like I am here and track that line of where the lift actually starts. Rather than file all of the bottom of the nail, because that's a lot of work trying to chase that lift back, we're going to start right on that line. So it's going to start where the lift starts and that removes a lot of time, a lot of effort and if you're hand filing, a lot of strain off your wrist. And I have my file tilted, so I'm using right on that edge of the file to get down that line. We're going to create like a trough into that acrylic on the top of the nail. As you get closer to where the lift is, you'll see that the acrylic begins to thin and crack through slightly where you can see the natural nail underneath. Don't over file in the same area because one, it will build up heat and hurt the person that you're working on, but also potentially damage their nail and nail bed. But also we don't want to file in the same area because we might over file and go through to that natural nail. You can see here, I'm just working across like a little track going through a jungle almost. Do you like that nice little analogy? And we're going to work through to the edge of the nail. I'm just turning my file at the end here to work around that bend and there you go, it's broken off. And that's what we're aiming to do. If we focus on where the lift begins, then that's all we have to worry about. Don't worry about the whole nail, it's a lot of extra filing. I'm just going to make sure using the 180, not the 100 grit side of the file, so that's the smoother side of the file, and very, very carefully keeping it on an angle and just getting rid of any of the tiny bits of lifting that are left around the edge. We need to make sure that this file does not touch the natural nail as it's too abrasive for the natural nail. So we're going to focus just on that sort of edge of the acrylic. Cleanse it with alcohol to make sure you've got all that lifting. And then we're going to do the same on the other finger, except this time I'm going to use an e-file to perform the rebalance, just to show you how you can do that. 
I'm going to do it all just using one safety carbide bit because I know a lot of people don't have many bits when they first start out and I think this is a really good one to begin with. And I will put full links to all the products in the description below. I have actually reviewed this e-file I'm using before. It's my new one. It's quite new. I've had it a couple of months now. I'm absolutely in love with it. It's a joy to use. And it's the Sayang K38. I have put a link of where I got mine from in the description down below and the gentleman there Tom has actually given a discount code if you want to buy it. I don't benefit from it in any way but he has actually increased it from 5% to 10% so that's a nice surprise for you at checkout. So with the e-file we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did with the hand file and we are just working a sort of trough down the side of that nail. I'm following the line of where I had the marks from the Sharpie and we're just going to remove all of that lifting nice and carefully without touching the natural nail underneath. Do this in small strokes, lifting your bit off the nail repeatedly to avoid the heat build up. And when you're happy that you've removed all of that lifting, just work over the whole nail to smooth it out. We're going to refine the shape now with a hand file and I'm a bit traditional, I like to work mainly with a hand file but get an e-file or a nail drill to do most of the work for me. Just to point out the correct name is an e-file which stands for electric file. Again I'm going to use my normal filing method over the nail to get it ready for applying the fresh acrylic. Before we can apply the acrylic we need to perform prep and I'm going to start by removing the cuticles. Now this is my favourite cuticle remover at the moment and it's from Essie and I think it's the apricot cuticle peel. I'm just going to use a curved hoof stick over the nail. Now you'll notice this nail had broken underneath the acrylic so we're going to do a build up on that one using a form and sculpting. Once you've left your cuticle remover to work for a minute or two we're just going to gently go in with that hoof stick and then a curette to remove any of the cuticle. If you want to know about this in more detail, I have a video where I show you how to remove cuticle in detail and the link is in the top right corner. When you are happy that you've removed all the cuticle, make sure you deactivate that cuticle remover with a generous amount of water to stop it from working any further. And now with a padded 240 grit file, I'm going to very, very lightly go over the natural nail to remove any delamination and make sure that I've removed any shine from the regrowth. Then we're going to cleanse that nail very carefully by dehydrating it and I use a mix of isopropyl alcohol and acetone before we go in with our pH bond dehydrator. Now I like the Nail Harmony Prohesion Acrylic and that's what I'm using. So once that's done, I'm going to go in with the Pro Bond and this is an acid free primer and you only need to apply that to the natural nail area. And then I'm going in with my fresh acrylic and I'm putting it, you can see, just on the bare nail and then I'm going to tuck it around and pat and prod it into place before I draw it over the older acrylic. You can see I'm doing this carefully and I'm using my brush to get everything into position. If you need any more guidance with regards to applying the acrylic, then I have a video showing you how to do it and the link is in the top right corner now to my acrylic overlays video. So you can see we're concentrating on applying that acrylic just where the bare nail begins after where we filed off that lifting. I'm patting it down the sides to keep that nail nice and slim and focusing the majority of the product down the centre and then draw it over the old acrylic. If you need to, add a smaller bead at the base of the nail, tuck it around the sides using the flags of the brush, that's the flat end at the tip, and then draw over the whole nail. And now on that broken nail, I'm going to create a build up. And using my crystal nails forms, which are my favourite, I'm taking the centrepiece out and placing it underneath for strength and support, tearing the top, and then holding the wings, I'm just rubbing it between my thumbs to get a nice curved shape. It helps with applying. I'm just going to tuck it under that torn nail, and stick it on the sides of the finger and that's just to make sure it stays in place when I'm happy with it before I pinch together those wings underneath. And you can see I'm very lucky with my sister-in-law's nails here, they're quite easy to apply forms to. I don't need to make any alterations. After burping that brush and removing all the air bubbles out of it, I'm just going to pick up a bead and then I'm applying it right where that free edge of the nail ends, so right where the torn bit is. And we're just going to pat this over the nail. Again, if you need any help with your mix ratio or the application, then take a look at that other video with the overlays in it. You can see here I'm taking my time a little bit, making sure I've got the right shape and keeping it nice and slim and close down the sides with the bulk of the product down the centre of the nail to create that arch shape. Because I'm working under studio lights, I do make my beads a little bit wetter because they dry very quickly under these lights. 
and then going in with a second bead like on the other ones, tucking it down those sides nice and carefully before drawing the excess over the top of the nail to build that beautiful apex arch. Finally, finish with a smaller bead at the cuticle, applied nice and neatly, keeping it away from the skin and tapped around the side with the excess drawn over the top. When you are happy with your sculpt, leave it be and concentrate on the other nails to start your finished filing. Again, revert to my filing video for advice on how to do this. When you are happy that your sculpt has set, it's time to remove that form nice and carefully. Only carefully because you don't want to hurt the person it's applied to, not because it will affect the acrylic in any way. And then it's time to finish file that nail, we're just going to refine the shape as we would do normally with our filing method and get it nice and smooth and in keeping with the other nails. When all the nails are smooth you can either apply a clear or a coloured polish or gel polish. I'm going to apply a gel polish and glitter which I will show you in another video in a couple of weeks time. In the meantime I hope that you found this video really helpful. Please let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. This will be the last of the professional videos for a couple of weeks because I want to get back on the nail art and it will be easier with the end of the school holidays coming in. Thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to vote for me in the awards, the link is in the description. I will see you next week.